Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Hampton Road Show. I'm Chris Reckling. And I'm Carrie Fury. Usually you can find us weekdays at 11 a.m. on Wavy TV, but right now we are here to talk cars and trucks and SUVs. That's right. We've teamed up with the Hampton Roads Auto Dealers Association to bring you a preview of the 2017 Hampton Roads International Auto Show right here on the Hampton Road Show. All right, that's right. There is no pressure to buy at this show, which makes it a stress-free environment all about just exploring the many vehicles on display. So, Chris, would you say we get started? Sounds good to me. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines <laughs> for this special auto show edition of the Hampton Road Show. If it's in Hampton Roads, it's on the Hampton Roads Show. All right, you know, we had to do it. We had to say start your engines because this edition of the Hampton Roads Show is all about the 2017 Hampton Roads Auto Show taking over the Virginia Beach Convention Center this weekend. From the makes and models on the floor to the family fun for everyone, we'll get the details from past auto show chairman Todd Collins. And you've heard of heavy duty trucks, but what about super duty? We'll talk with the folks from Ford about their latest entry into the workhorse workforce. And we'll check in what's new for Toyota in 2017 from the standard safety features on the Highlander to the Prius Prime, and their most advanced hybrid yet. Plus, Jack Narod from Kelly Blue Book talks with us about the winners of the 2017 Best Buy Awards. Also, we'll hear about Motor Trends Car Truck and SUV of the Year with a guy who gets to take them all for a spin Motor Trend Editor-in-Chief, Edward Lowe. He's a lucky guy right there. Sounds like a lot of fun. You know, my dad uh, owned an Exxon station for about 30 years. He was a car head, loved his cars, and that love of cars was brought down to me and my brother and sister and all family. And, and uh, he loved his cars for lots of reasons because we all love our vehicles. We absolutely love our vehicles. It was kind of like the first real fe feeling of freedom I think you have as a young person. You yep. know, long before you have your own place and long before you have your first job or maybe about the same time so you can get to it you get your first car that's and right you never never forget it so that's where we're starting in the buzz today we want to hear about your very first vehicle we are buzzing remember? about that very first do i ever <laughs> i remember getting that license and how excited i was so we are talking all things cars and that first one mine i had a bunch of different ones because my dad like i said owned on the owned the shop and he was had his hands on lots of vehicles but my first one okay my first, like, real first car was a 1975 Mercury Monarch. And you're like, what does that look like? <laughs> well, there it is. You know, nothing studly about that, but it was so much fun. What was made it brown? It, it was brown, just like that. What made it really unique is it had, like, a PA system in the grill, so you could yell and scream at people really loud. And then I, and then I transitioned, because my dad had the station, to a super cool 1969 Ford Thunderbird. And there, that's what it looks like. It was white with a black top. It was a four door. And if you look at the doors, they're suicide doors where they open up like a little inside oh, out. Right. Which was really neat. So, and that thing was fast. It had a 429 in it, V8. And everywhere I went, people wanted to race Corvettes and Trans Ams, you name it. Everyone came up and was just like, let's go. And how and old I never are you? Lost. How old were you driving? I never lost. <laughs> I was uh, 16, 17 when I had that thing. And that's uh, I, went, I went through a set of tires like that. And my dad was like, real quick to think. Nah, he probably shouldn't be driving that. I bet. I mean, he had the know-how to know uh, how long those tires should have lasted under yourself? normal dri driving. I will never forget my first car. It was the coolest. I got it in the Azores, my first duty station in the Navy. Um, this is not. This is the fav my most favorite car that I've ever driven. But my first car, and this is a, a Volkswagen GTI. Mm -hmm. And I, someday I'll go back to this car. I just loved it. I right, loved this car. Right, right. But it became impractical over time. But there's number one. Ooh, or another I, classic. The one just like it. I had a '72 Kelly Green Volkswagen Squareback, and it was the first of many Volkswagens um, that I drove, and I loved it. It was missing a window one time, and there was a bad storm. Uh, this is the Azores Islands, very windy, right. stormy. Uh, right. I came out from the Armed Forces Radio and Television Station, and a chicken had blown into the back of the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the car. So you got a chicken coop. A lot of great stories about that car, but um, I loved it, and it yeah. stayed there. And you know, other other service members drove it. These cars never left the island; right. just new service members drove them as we That's, changed duty stations. I love but. the chicken story. So we've got I have some more classics to tell you about. We'll tell you about in a few minutes. But let us know your thoughts and what was your what first was your car. First or your favorite. You know? First or favorite. Yeah. Or whatever. You can join the conversation on our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter 
at HR underscore show or follow us, follow us on Instagram at Hampton Road Show. All right, from cars and trucks to vans and SUVs, the 2017 Hampton Roads International Auto Show will feature plenty of makes and models on display. All right, so in case you're making a list, we thought we would take a little time to introduce you to just some of the makes and models you can expect to see this weekend. Nearly every franchise will be on display at the 2017 Hampton Roads International Auto Show. Nearly 30 manufacturers will be bringing their goods for auto show attendees to see. Check out Buick. Chevrolet. Chrysler. Dodge. Fiat. Ford. GMC. Honda. Hyundai. Jeep. Kia. Mazda. Nissan. Ram. Smart. Subaru. Toyota. Volkswagen. Remember, this is a non-selling show. There's no pressure to buy. So many models will be on display. Come, look, compare, and try them all at the 2017 Hampton Roads Auto Show. Yeah. Much more to come on what you'll see inside. Yeah. All of a sudden, I feel like going for a ride. <laughs>
you can't. We must <laughs> finish true. the, <laughs> must finish the show. <laughs> All right, still ahead, this 2017 Ford Super Duty truck is living up to its name, and the industry is taking notice. Let's just say hard work is its superpower. But first, we're talking with former Auto Show Chairman Todd Collins about what you need to know before you hit the prettiest parking lot you've ever seen. And throughout the show, we have some trivia questions for you in our Pop Quiz Trivia. And here's your first one. We'll be right back. Welcome back to this very special edition of the Hampton Road Show. We've teamed up with the Hampton Roads Auto Dealers Association to bring you a look at the 2017 Hampton Roads Auto Show. Joining me now to tell us more about this very exciting weekend at the Virginia Beach Convention Center is somebody you'd be hard pressed to find anybody who knows more about this than former Auto Show Chair Todd Collins, who graciously is here today because this year's Chair Dan Bannister, probably busy doing a million things as we are right on the edge of go time for this auto show. Thank you so much, Todd, for being here today. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate you having me. Just when you thought you had handed down the reins, we need you one more time <laughs> to tell folks what they can expect when they go to this auto show, starting with just the number of cars and brands that are represented. And what? let's start with what people won't find there. Uh, they'll find everything. This year, of course, the, the show is sold out once again, and mm -hmm. we have every manufacturer that's, that's going to be there. Over 300 models um, will be there in a non-selling environment. That's where I wanted to, you know, to start with what you will not find pressure to buy. So taking that completely off the table, you know, what does that mean in terms of the approach uh, someone coming to the show can take to just enjoying themselves? Well, that's just it. They can go in a relaxed environment and, and see every model and make that they could possibly want without having the pressure of someone trying to sell them an automobile. Just let them relax and really look at the car. They can get in it. They can touch it. And then on a couple of days, they can even drive the cars. Mm -hmm. So tell me about uh, the folks that are, that are represented, the brands that are there. The convention center is a huge space. So to say that every little piece of it has been sold out and, you know, very little down from the smart cars down to the larger cars, who's there? Well, well uh, obviously Ford, Toyota, Subaru, uh, Buick, Volkswagen, everybody. I, don't, I can't think of, there's nobody that's not going to be there. So any, any brand that you can think of, it'll be represented at the sale. And we will throughout the show be mentioning some of the vehicles that you can see in terms of the cars that you could actually buy today. But I think a lot of people come to these shows too to look at some of the concepts, maybe things that are down the line. Sure, uh, people do do that. Uh, we don't have as many concept cars at this particular show. It's more meat and potatoes, what you can actually buy mm -hmm. and buy locally right now. Let's talk about locally and, and automotive dealerships, the Hampton Roads Automotive Dealers Association um, may not be a well-known organization, but it's one of those organizations that people know, even if you don't know that you know them. Meaning, whenever there is a charitable event, it seems like the auto dealerships really come out to support and sponsor events like that and work together. What else is the function of HRADA? HRADA is a, it's a group of dealers who are sitting on a board who vote on different things that happen within the community. Um, we do a lot of things uh, for the community and, and more so with uh, Tidewater Community College in with their uh, bringing up young techs into the, into the workforce and uh, charity golf events, different things mm -hmm. th that we do in the... In the <laughs> it does seem like as soon as we see a major charity event, one of the big dealerships is always there. Always. They're, They're always, always giving there to, back. Yep, to help and to sponsor. And it's true, you have to have people who know how to work on these cars. I, I hear my dad in my ear saying, well, you got to know how to fix these cars, the technology. They're not as simple anymore, but as long as we're training great mechanics, it won't be your worry. Todd, we're not finished with you. We're going to have you come back in another segment, talk about uh, more going on at the show, where you can get your tickets, the discounts that are offered uh, for the military as well. And we should let people know this thing kicks off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's open until 10 o'clock on Friday and Saturday, 6 o'clock on Sunday. That's correct. All right, lots more to say. We'll be back with Todd in just a little bit. Again, the Virginia Beach Convention Center. If you want more information, you can go to HamptonRoadsAutoShow.com. When we buy a car, sometimes you're really excited about something that's going to be yours forever. But you have to think about resale when it comes to your automobiles. And who better to talk to you about this than the very thing than Jack Nurad, the Executive Director and Executive Market Analyst for Kelly Blue Book. 
We talked to him about the tried and trusted resource for people who want to know what their vehicles are worth. And Jack had big news to share with us about Kelly Blue Book's overall Best Buy of 2017. It's the Honda Civic. It's our Best Buy for the second year in a row. It's a terrific vehicle all the way around. We love the economy of the vehicle. Uh, we love the fuel economy of the vehicle. We love the power of the vehicle. We love the safety suite the vehicle offers. It can practically drive and stop and go again all by itself. Um, I wouldn't recommend that without paying attention. Of sure. Uh, and it's just an incredible vehicle. So it's our second year in a row. It's our best overall buy. Uh, from the, the safthy and sport, you strike me as a sporty person. I am. And You're here very is a intuitive, wonderfully Jack. sporty. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah, exactly. I could tell that somehow. And here's the perfect car for you the Porsche 718 Boxster. It is a sweet handler. Uh, it is fast, uh, zero to 60 in about four and a half seconds, 170 miles an hour. Please don't try that at home, but it's, it's super fast and it handles beautifully, and it also is very comfortable in which to ride. So that's Jack, a I'm gonna have thing. to I'm gonna have to wait for a little those, while for my Porsche Boxster, but you are moving toward a, maybe a better car category for right. me. At this point in my life, the Mom Mobile, you've got the Chrysler Pacifica. I do, and it is all new again for 2017. Uh, they have reinvented the minivan here. As you no doubt know, it's all about the interior with the minivan. Uh, what will it do? How versatile is it? Uh, how will it help me, you know, keep the kids occupied or uh, help me do the things that I need to do uh, when I'm uh, that family person? Uh, you know, certainly I've, I've done many a, a car trip with my family and made things happen. It has USB ports at every uh, seating position to keep those uh, uh, devices charged up, among the millions of other things that it offers, fold away seats and doors that open when you just kind of kick at them like this and the door swings open. So that's really terrific. Um, we like all of these vehicles and nine more that are on our list of Kelly Blue Book Best Buys for 2017. And again, our goal is to help people make really good decisions when it comes to automobiles. But as we kind of touched on just a little bit, you know, a Porsche may be a great fit for one person and the Pacifica is going to be a great fit for somebody who's at a totally different part, point in their driving life. So what would you say overall constitutes a best buy? Well, you absolutely identified that there are different attributes for different types of vehicles, right? I mean, we would uh, look at a minivan differently than we look at a large SUV like a Chevy Tahoe or, or a big sedan like, a, you know, the Chevy Impala or a midsize sedan like the Honda Accord. Uh, there are different things that are important to those buyers, and that's what we try to identify and then test for those things. And then there are things that are just in general uh, very helpful. You alluded to some in the, in the intro. Resale value is very important. We want these vehicles to be very satisfying, not just when you buy them, but over time. And the ownership experience is important. So reliability important as well. All right, Jack, if folks are interested in those other nine cars you mentioned that are also on the list or just general information about Kelly Blue Book, where should we send them? KBB.com is the place to send them. Uh, we've been online for about 25 years now. Uh, kind of change the business by going online, and we'd love to share our expertise with you. All right, kbv.com. Thank you so much, and thank you for keeping my Porsche dreams alive. Someday. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, someday <laughs> it will happen for you. I'm, I'm convinced it will. All right. Thanks so much. You know, someday. Yeah, you know, the Kelly Blue Book is, is a very valuable resource. However, it's good for you to have individually, but you can just go to your local dealer and they will help pinpoint what your car is worth. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember the actual book, the Kelly Blue Absol Book? Me too. Are you kidding? My dad lived by it. I bet. But now KBB.com, Modern Times, Kim yep. Co. <laughs> Not just that, and maybe one day. Yeah. You'll well, have you that know, Porsche. What? Kelly. Kelly uh, Blue Book is certainly one name uh, that everybody knows in the auto industry. The right. other, of course, is Motor Trend. And we all pick up our ears when it's time for Motor Trend to announce its car of the year. Coming up, we're going to go straight to the source to find out this year's top honors on four wheels. Lighter yet stronger than ever and loaded with great technology. Find out why the all-new 2017 Ford Super Duty was named the 2017 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. And throughout the show, we have some trivia questions for you. If you'd like to play along, here is another one. And we'll 
See you in just a moment. Welcome back to a special edition of the Hampton Road Show. We're going to do a little heavy lifting in this segment, and we have just the right vehicle to get the job done. That's right, Carrie. Thanks to overall design, efficiency, and engineering excellence, the 2017 Ford Super Duty was named Motor Trend Truck of the Year. The 2017 Ford Super Duty rose to the top for many reasons, and we're going to get a few answers now from Zach Dorr from the Ford Motor Company. Well, you know you're doing something right when Motor Trend names you the 2017 Truck of the Year, and the all-new Ford Super Duty is a beautiful truck. Not just that, but a great workhorse. Zach Dorr, tell me all about this great truck. Thanks, Chris. Uh, the 2017 Super Duty is Ford's most capable, smartest, toughest truck that we have ever built. From the all-new aluminum body to the 95% high-strength steel, uh, box frame. Uh, this truck is built to handle any situation that someone could get into. You mentioned the aluminum body. It's, it's tougher than ever. Why is that important uh, and what, is it, what kind of difference does that make for this truck? It's important because it's 350 pounds lighter. So while maintaining a, as good as or even higher a, a standard of toughness, we have knocked 350 pounds, up to 350 pounds off this truck, increasing payload capacity and towing capacity and fuel economy. Let's talk more about that towing capacity because this truck is the workhorse of the F series. What can it tow? Uh, this truck can tow up to 32,500 pounds on a gooseneck trailer, up to 21,000 pounds on a conventional trailer, and the payload capacity is up to 7,630 pounds. That's a whole nother truck in the back yeah. of this Super Duty. And when you're towing something like that, you want to make sure that it's safe. How does it handle when you're towing? Uh, it handles wonderfully. The technology Ford has put into this keeps drivers safe. Um, s technology like the Bliss technology. Uh, we have a blind spot warning system that, that now even covers trailers towed behind the 17 Super Duty. This is a beautiful truck. It is a workhorse of a truck, but it doesn't skimp when it comes to technology and looks on the inside. Let's give them a look inside. Oh, it is a beautiful truck inside and outside. Like I mentioned, a completely redone uh, cab um, with luxury features like the leather seats and the panoramic sunroof and all the host of new technology uh, that is class exclusive for this truck. Let's talk more about that technology. What does it offer, Zach? Uh, my favorite technology feature in this truck is the adaptive cruise control. The adaptive cruise control automatically works both the gas and the brake um, to keep the 2017 Super Duty a set distance behind another vehicle on the road, even while towing a trailer. Great technology in this beautiful workhorse of a truck, Zach, but what does it mean for the Ford Motor Company to be named the 2017 Truck of the Year? Well, Chris, uh, the Ford F-Series has been the best-selling truck in America for the past 39 years. Um, and after 39 years, uh, we are honored to be uh, nominated and uh, given the award of Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Uh, I think it speaks volumes to the uh, technology, capability, and strength of the new 2017 Super Duty. The all-new beautiful Super Duty is a great truck. Zach, thank you for joining us today on the Hampton Road Show. Thanks, Chris. You'll be helping all your friends move if you have one of those. That's Hope right. You'll be super <laughs> popular. <laughs> you will be the envy of the neighborhood. Yeah, beautiful car, truck. All right, you can check out that 2017 Super Duty and more from Ford at the 2017 Hampton Roads Auto Show or visit your local Ford dealer or check them out online, localforddealer.com. Well, as we mentioned and already shown you one, every year Motor Trend picks one new car one new trunk and one new SUV for the prestigious honor of being named the best on the market. I recently had the chance to get a look at the top picks for 2017 when I chatted with Motor Trends Editor-in-Chief Edward Lowe. We started with the car of the year and why it was chosen. Well, we're proud to announce Motor Trends 2017 car of the year is the all-new Chevy Bolt EV. And the reason why we chose it is that it aced our award six criteria. You know, we look at design, engineering, efficiency, value, safety, and basically how well a vehicle does its job. 
And against all of these criteria, the Bolt really nailed it. The big two reasons though, it's range and it's value. You can get 238 miles of pure electric driving out of this vehicle, and if you apply the federal tax rebate, you can get it for under $30,000. That's a game changer in the auto industry. Edward, that's a great honor for Chevy. Now let's talk about trucks. It's another uh, highly contested uh, in, on the auto market. Right. What is the top truck of the year and why was it chosen? Right, so we're proud to announce our 2017 truck of the year is the Ford F-Series Super Duty. And you're right, the truck segment is hugely competitive and this one was actually unanimous vote for our number one selection for 2017 because it is just so darn capable. Um, if you get it with the diesel engine option, you're talking about a truck that uh, has 925 pound-feet of torque. That was enough to tow 15 tons at the proving grounds. We did it. The truck handled it no problem, no sweat, didn't flinch. It was awesome. Okay, almost as competitive as the truck is the SUV. What is Motor Trend's 2017 sport utility and why was it chosen? Well, we're proud to announce our 2017 SUV of the year is the Mercedes-Benz GLC. And you're right, super competitive segment, you know, SUVs and crossovers, uh, gaining on sedans, actually. But, uh, and, and you'll see why, you know, this, this GLC, beautiful on the outside, gorgeous on the inside, leather, wood, metal finishes, and it's also surprisingly fun to drive. Has a, you know, a turbocharged four-cylinder engine, good on gas mileage, it was a total package. Edward Motor Trend also picks a person of the year. Who is the person of the year for 2017? Our person of the year for 2017 was Tesla CEO Elon Musk. And we picked him because he's been just a revelation to the auto industry. You know, earlier this year, he announced the uh, Model 3. This is the next electric vehicle from Tesla. And in just a few days, he raised over $400 million in pre-orders. And this is for a car that probably won't come to market until mid to late 2018 at the earliest. So he's really making waves. He's also launching rockets and building, you know, solar battery packs. Incredible person and our person of the year. Yeah, I think that's a great choice. Now, many uh, consumers will be uh, buying new cars in 2017. And one of the first things they'll do is go to Motor Trend. How can they use this information when uh, vehicle shopping? Right, well, all of the information from our of the year awards, car, truck, and SUV, available in our January 2017 issue and on MotorTrend.com. And what we did there is we put everything together in one place, all of the testing, not just of the winners, but of all of the contenders as well. So for anybody who's looking for a new car, a new model year 2017 vehicle, we have all the information, all the numbers, all the prices, all in one place, in the issue or online. Uh, one more quick question for you. What are some of the trends that uh, consumers can see for 2017 when it comes to new vehicles? Well, you're seeing a lot, uh, you know, a lot of buzz in the marketplace about self-driving technologies. You know, more and more of these cars are giving you the option to take your hands off the wheel. Uh, the car will steer itself and drive itself if you engage the cruise control. So that's definitely coming. There's, there's going to be more sophistication added. Um, you're seeing a lot in the SUV space as well. Really, really popular vehicles. Every manufacturer is building one, so look for lots of cool new SUVs coming to the market very soon. Great information. Motor Trends Editor-in-Chief Edward Lowe, thank you for joining us today on the Hampton Road Show. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. You know, we always had the Kelly Blue Book around the house, and we always had a stack of Motor Trend magazines because mm -hmm. that was my dad's favorite magazine. Yep, that and like the uh, the Trader, the Auto Trader. Auto Trader, right? that's right. Sometimes it's orange, sometimes it's yellow. Sometimes oh, we're showing our age. Yellow. We're showing our age. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Style and power are important, but at the end of the day, we all want to be as safe as possible in our cars. Coming up, we'll talk with the folks from Toyota about an advanced safety feature that's in every new model. And once again, throughout this show, we've been having some fun with some trivia for you in our pop quiz trivia. Here's another question. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to this special edition of the Hampton Road Show. There will be 
plenty of luxury makes and models on display at the 2017 Hampton Roads International Auto Show. We thought we'd take some time to introduce you to some of them. Almost every franchise will be on display at the 2017 Hampton Roads International Auto Show. Nearly 30 manufacturers will be bringing their goods for auto show attendees to see. Luxury lines are well represented by Acura. Audi. BMW. Cadillac. Infinity. Jaguar. Land Rover. Lexus. Lincoln. Maserati. Mercedes Benz. Mini. Porsche. Volvo. Remember, there's no pressure to buy. So many models will be on display, and you can see and sit in every make and model. Enjoy all the luxury vehicle shopping you can handle hassle-free at the 2017 Hampton Roads International Auto Show. All great cars that you could aspire to be in one day, but certainly not your first car. Probably not the first car. <laughs> not your first car. <laughs> Not right there. No way, Jose. Mine was a 1975 Mercury Monarch, moved up to the 69 Thunderbird, and at one point had a 69 Camaro. My, uh, my first car cost $300. There's then... my T-Bird, man. Check it out. Wow. You had one at $300. $300. There it yep. is. It was it? like this one. Like that uh, one. 72 Volkswagen Squareback. Kelly Green, just like that one. That's awesome, man. Occasional so chicken cool. coop. So yep. cool. I would love to see that with some surf racks. Okay, we just want to know what is your what was your first car? And we've got some classics here. We do. So Paula said it was a '65 Ford Ford Fairlane 500. She says she oh, likes older cars better because they're, they're easier to work on. Uh, James said 1969 Carmen Ghia convertible. Red Another on, classic. Yep, yeah, red on black. Uh, 177. What? What 176 uh, cubic centimeter, blah, 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 supercharged, really fast. really fast. Okay, but look, this one right here, I've got a little personal connection to Diane's. That is a Buick Riviera, 67. My dad actually at one point had a Riviera, and I drove it for a while, and it was beautiful. But it was so long, and I couldn't quite handle it. But that's a beautiful car, Diane. The it's Riviera is sweet. All righty. All right, still ahead, we're going to talk more with former auto show uh, chair Todd Collins about what else is at the auto show. 
Besides all of those cars, we're going to talk about what else you can see, food, entertainment, and amenities in just a few minutes. Imagine driving to work without using an ounce of gas, with heated seats, and this sweet, large screen. We are talking about the 2017 Toyota Prius Prime. And here's another Auto Show trivia question for you. We will see you in just a moment. Welcome you back to a special edition of the Hampton Road Show. Cars, trucks, SUVs, they're safer than ever in 2017. And one car maker, Toyota, is making significant strides in keeping you safe when you hit the road. That's right. Toyota has advanced integrated safety in all new models, which is called Toyota Safety Sense. We caught up with Michael Boylan about the great safety feature and checked out the Toyota Highlander and surprising Toyota Prius Hybrid. One of the biggest decisions when buying a new vehicle is safety, and leading the way for 2017 is Toyota with Toyota Safety Sense. Michael Boylan, tell me more about it. Well, Toyota Safety Sense is our new safety suite of technologies that we have pretty much standard across our lineup for 2017. What it includes is pre collision with pedestrian detection, dynamic radar cruise control, automatic high beams, lane keep assist with steering alert. All great new technology that will keep you safe, but I want to know more about pre collision. Well, pre-collision is probably one of the most exciting parts of this new safety suite. What it does is it uses a millimeter wave radar in the grill of the vehicle, as well as a camera above the rearview mirror, and has the ability to apply brakes and even stop the vehicle to avoid a collision. That's awesome. Uh, so, you know, we know about safety features such as airbags and seat belts, which have been standard for so long. Why is this new technology so important to Toyota? Well, it's so important for Toyota because safety is one of our number one priorities at Toyota. And going forward, we want to try to avoid the collision altogether, not just protect the consumer during the crash. Okay, you said standard on uh, most Toyota 2017 vehicles? Yes. Including this beautiful 2017 Highlander. Tell me about this vehicle. The Highlander is all new for 2017, and we just took the best-selling vehicle in Virginia, midsize SUV, and made it even better by adding an all-new V6 engine with 296 horsepower, as well as an eight-speed automatic transmission. That combination there is gonna give us about two to three mile per gallon improvement over the previous generation. It's obviously a beautiful vehicle for so many reasons. Why is it the best-selling midsize in the state of Virginia? Well, the Highlander is the best-selling midsize in the state of Virginia because it's the perfect size. It's not too big, not too small. It has room for the whole family. Plus, uh, it's got great build quality and the reliability is off the charts. Well, what a great vehicle, but what's really exciting for 2017 is the new Prius Prime. Michael, let's go check it out. Absolutely. So here it is, the 2017 Toyota Prius Prime. Michael, what a great looking vehicle. Tell me more. Yep, Chris, so this is the all new Prius Prime for 2017 and one of our most exciting vehicles for the year. So looking at this car, you can see it's a little bit different than the other Priuses you see driving down the road. It's got a unique front end with those beautiful LED headlights as well as a unique rear end. And it's about four inches longer than your standard Prius. But the most significant part about this vehicle though is that it's got a 25 mile pure electric range after that, it turns into a regular hybrid vehicle. So the average consumer can actually go to work and not use a drop of fuel. That's awesome. Yeah. Tell me more about that. So with electric cars, the reason why they're not as mainstream as gas cars is because of what we call range anxiety. So your average consumer worries that they're not going to be able to get where they need to go because the car doesn't have enough range. However, with the Prius Prime, it's not a worry because once that 25 mile battery is depleted, it's a regular hybrid and will still get you 55 miles to the gallon. What a great feature and a great looking car on the outside, but it's also great looking on the inside as well. So inside the vehicle, you have a beautiful 11.2 inch touchscreen that controls everything from your music to your climate to your navigation. It's also got Qi wireless charging um, and leather seating surfaces throughout. And like you said earlier, Toyota Safety Sense as well. Yep, Toyota Safety Sense is standard on the Prius Prime as well as many of our other vehicles. Michael, two great vehicles. Thank you yes. for joining us today on the Thank Hampton you Road so Show. Much. For more information, visit Toyota.com or contact a local Toyota dealership. And don't forget to visit Toyota at the 2017 Hampton Roads Auto Show. You can ride and drive the Highlander, the RAV4, Sienna, and Tacoma all weekend. 
While the cars are the star of the show, there is fun for everyone at the 2017 Hampton Roads Auto Show. Todd Collins is back now to tell us more. He's a former HRADA Auto Show chairman. Todd, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, me. so listen, Michael just mentioned something about a range anxiety. Some people might have auto show anxiety, but you're here to say it's okay. You're going to be fine when you get out there. Correct, because there's a non-selling environment, which means there's no salespeople out there trying to sell you a car. It's just a place where you can go, look at all the cars, get in them, touch them, and even in some cases in, at this show, test drive them. Yeah, let's talk about that, the Toyota Ride and Drive. Sure. Every day at 10 o'clock, Toyota's going to have uh, people out there. You can actually drive the car on a little test track outside of the convention center. That's really cool. And uh, there's no pressure to buy, uh, no pressure to sell, but the experts are there to answer all your questions. And that's what I like about the auto show. You can see all the cars, every cool. single one. And if you have questions, just ask. It's rare that you're able to go from car to car, different manufacturers in one place so you can get really good comparables. Now let's talk about the, uh, the low riders. Uh, so Geico Ultimate Low Rider Competition. What's going to happen is we're going to have, they've whittled it down to eight finalists that will be out there represented, really cool cars. And actually the public will vote on, on who's going to be the winner. The winner of the contest will receive a $500 gift card. And there's uh, some prizes for second and third place. And also the people who are voting will also be entered in to a contest to win some prizes. Definitely vote on your favorite low rider. Not just that, but get there early because it pays if you do. It does. If you're one of the uh, first 1,200 people and you're in the military, you're going to get in for free. Ford has provided those tickets, awesome. so 1,200 per day. Good stuff. Not just that, but there's uh, also something to do for the kids. That's correct. Well, Scooby-Doo is going to be there from 12 to 5 on Saturday and Sunday. It's cool. Scooby-Doo. Get your picture taken with Scooby-Doo. And what did he drive? The mystery, the mystery van, right? He drove the mystery van. It was, mystery a, B, van. It was a BMW. BMW. Was it really? No. Oh, well, you, you, it could have been just about anything. But you know what? That would make a cool low rider, just like my Riviera. Yes, it would. The Riviera. Okay, so listen, there's something for everybody. And not in the kids. All kids like cars, too. That's true. Kids love cars. Also, I forgot to mention that, yep. that parking is free and there's 2,200 spaces out there. 2,200. 2,200. Maybe one of these days you'll be riding a new car, parking in that parking spot. So listen, um, there's also other giveaways too. There's all kinds of stuff going on. There's just more than what we've just mentioned. It'll be a great fun time. Yeah, Todd, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Once again, it is the 2017 Hampton Roads International Auto Show. It is Friday through Sunday at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. Find out more online, HamptonRoadsAutoShow.com. All right, throughout the show, we have been providing some pop quiz trivia. If you'd like to play along, we have one more question for you and more to come on this special edition of the Hampton Road Show. Said it, and you said it. You know, kids love cars. I mean, we think about what kids was your, of all ages. What was your first toy? Yeah, probably cars. Yeah, Hot it was. Wheels. It was. Starts young. Love the cars. All right, we want to thank the Hampton Roads Auto Dealers Association for helping us bring you a preview of the 2017 Hampton Roads International Auto Show right here on the Hampton Roads Show. Now, don't forget to add the auto show to your calendars. It's going on this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. Tickets are just ten dollars at the door, and kids 12 and under are free. Plus. There are discounts for military and those 65 and older. Get all the info you need before you go and a $3 discount coupon at their website. It's the HamptonRoadsAutoShow.com. And there are more giveaways going on all weekend. You could score $1,000 in the 1,000 Envelopes Contest. And remember to stop by and see all of your favorite Wavy and Fox 43 personalities at the Wavy booth. We have almost all of the Wavy on-air talent, uh, reporters and anchors hanging out at some point during the weekend, That's right. uh, including us That's on right. Friday. All right, we'll also be giving away Wavy and Face of Fox 43 thermoses while supplies last. Good stuff. Well, that's going to do it for today's show. You can find all of our segments posted on our website. Just log on to the HamptonRoadShow.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'd love for you to join us every weekday morning at 11 a.m. on Wavy TV 10 for the Hampton Road Show. I'm Chris Reckling. And I'm Carrie Fury. We'll see you next time, or maybe we'll see you at the 2017 Hampton Roads International Auto Show. Drive carefully.